Hey guys, there's a new church on the island. Let's go pretty glum. They don't accept gays either. It's great. All right, sorry to stop the clip, but you really need the context for this before you watch it. So, that clip is from Extraordinarily Excellent Entities, Episode 7. Uh, if you're new to the channel, you might not know this, but by the time EE7 rolled around, no one liked Excellent Entities. Like, they really, really hated it. Season 1 was terrible, early Season 2 didn't make any sense, Episode 4 and 5 were boring and failed attempts at character development, and Episode 6 fell super flat. So at this point, I had just given up on caring about what everyone thought about my show, and Episode 7 was basically this big protest where I was like, you hate it so much, well I'm gonna make it even worse. So that included Scene 2 of Episode 7, in which Shark Labar is a homophobic religious bigot, and all the characters characters one by one come out as LGBT. This is canon, by the way, they're, they've always been queer, they're all queer, except Chocolate Bar is not homophobic, because it's just weird to have a canonically homophobic character, like why would I do that? So, and also, the scene is like super anti-religion, anti-religious people, which I obviously don't agree with anymore. I was just an edgy 14 year old who happened to have a subscriber base that I was able to share these edgy opinions with, which was a terrible idea because when the episode originally came out, a bunch of friend groups basically coalesced to dislike bot and dislike spam the whole episode. And in less than an hour, there was 150 dislikes on the video, which like broke my heart. So I just deleted the whole thing, cut the scene out, re-uploaded it and pretended like nothing ever happened and to this day i have never ever had that scene on my computer it has been gone for as long as i can remember i didn't think anyone had it except my best friend had it the whole time wuggle the creator of object lockout she was like oh yeah i have the scene if you want it and i was like what what do you mean you have the scene and she was like yeah i downloaded it as soon as it came out i have it on dvd too i was like okay give me the scene so <laughs> She just DM'd it to me the other day, and I just got to watch it in its full quality for the first time in like seven years. And now you do too. So without further ado, here it is. Hey guys, there's a new church on the island. Let's go pretty glum. They don't accept gays either. It's great. Uh, chocolate bar, we're all LGBT. Uh, we're all some type of queer because for some reason that matters. No. Uh, yeah, me and Broomer are gay. Gummo Machine dated Poison, Feather Moonstone and Diary had a love triangle, There's a Reason Latte writes fan fictions, Clay's non binary, Sharperberry likes girls but is asexual, Two Walls aromantic asexual, Smarty likes boys and girls, Mango is gay, Nails demi romantic, and Moonstone is the gayest one here. Oh my god. Well, at least headset's straight, right? Yeah, but he's FDM transgender. Leave! What? Leave, you stereotype breaking gays! No. Leave! The power of club compels you! The power of club compels you! Jocklebar, you're not being rash- Stay away! Go, you freaks of nature! Why are you doing this? Because it said so in my book of made-up fairy tales! Everyone, shut up. The new Boomer Boys album came out. And then it cuts to a Boomer Boys song. That's the deleted scene. And you want to know something funny I'll leave you with? One of the biggest issues people had with that scene is that everyone was gay. So, I think we've come a long, long way. <laughs>